Hello, I'm Jared, a customer support specialist here at the AWS office in Dublin, Ireland. Today, I'm going to show you how to use AWS Cost Explorer to analyze your spending and usage. Let's get started. With Cost Explorer, you can do the following. Review charges and usage associated with your account. View and create reports for your cost and usage data. Forecast estimated spending for the next three months. Get recommendations on utilization and coverage of your reserved instances. Get recommendations on utilization and coverage of your savings plans. Now let's take a look at how we can use Cost Explorer. First, open the billing dashboard. From the navigation pane, choose Cost Explorer under the Cost Management section. Note, if it is your first time launching Cost Explorer, you might need to wait for up to 24 hours for cost and usage data to populate. To view pre-configured reports for your cost and usage data, choose Reports from the Navigation pane. Select a report name to analyze your costs. Note, these are pre-made default reports AWS already has configured. To create custom reports for your cost and usage data, choose Create New Report and select a report type that you want to create. Choose Create Report. Configure the report as desired on the Report Parameter Navigation pane on the right of the screen. You can select items such as Date Range, Granularity, Grouping Type. You can also apply specific filters such as services, linked accounts for organizations, regions, instance types, usage types, resources, cost category, tags for tagged resources, and many more by choosing more filters. To save the report for later use, choose Save to Report Library. Choose a name for the report relevant to the type of report. For example, EC2 Instance Usage in Ohio if you had a report focusing on EC2 usage in the Ohio region. Choose Save Report. Let's take a look at some common uses for Cost Explorer. You can utilize Cost Explorer to compare your month-to-month -month costs. To compare your month-to-month -month costs, use the Monthly Costs by Service report here. By default, the chart displays the five services with the highest costs. However, the table includes cost data for all the services that you used, like this table here, for example. You can also investigate temporary spikes in your billing by changing the granularity of the report. Under the Report Parameters section, instead of Monthly, choose Daily. Note that we now have much clearer data that already shows that we have a substantial spike from the average spend on March 22nd and what services caused the spike. In this case, we'll focus on Amazon Guard Duty. Now let's see how to understand costs for your resources by service. Open the service filter on the Report Parameters pane. Select the services that you want to investigate. For example, let's select only Guard Duty and take a look at that Guard Duty spike. Choose Apply. Now let's go to the Group By section of the Report Parameter Navigation pane and choose Usage Type. Now we see from the list of usage types that the largest expense for the Guard Duty service is Paid Events Analyzed within the USC1 region, and that charge is spiked on March 22nd. You can see how Cost Explorer helps us to get very specific information on your resource charges. To view costs by cost allocation tag, choose tag for group by. The tag option isn't available if you have no cost allocation tags. So in the case here, when selecting a tag, we can see there are no tags. When you create a new cost allocation tag, you might need to wait up to three days for the tag to appear in Cost Explorer. To view unblended cost data for an organization, Select Unblended Costs for Aggregate Costs under Advanced Options. To view taxes by account under Group By, select Linked Account 
and then choose the linked account that you want to view. In this example, we see only the main account, as this is not an organization account. Open the service filter or charge type filter, and then make sure that only tax item is selected. Note that because there are no tax charges on this account, there is no option for tax. To view your ORI utilization, select Reports from the navigation pane and choose ORI utilization under Report Name. If you have no ORI on the account, you will see no data. View the combined usage of all your purchased ORIs in the chart and the utilization of individual ORIs in the table. Note that with ORI utilization reports, you can view the following. View the utilization of your ORIs as the percentage of purchased ORI hours in the chart. View the number of ORI hours used against the number of ORI hours purchased in the table. Select a single ORI or a group of ORIs in the table to view their respective utilization in the chart. Use the information in the table to track the number of ORI hours that you reserved but did not use. View ORI coverage. To view your ORI coverage, select Reports from the navigation pane and then choose ORI coverage under Report Name. Note that with ORI utilization reports you can view the number of instance hours covered by your ORIs in the chart, the number of hours that you have totally used, and how many of those are covered by your ORIs. The number of hours covered by ORIs against the on-demand hours in the table. Select a single ORI or a group of ORIs in the table to view their respective coverage in the chart. To view your ORI recommendations and estimated annual savings, choose Recommendations in a navigation pane under Reservations. The ORI recommendations are provided based on your past usage. If you have no ORI or usage, then there will be no data. Note that you can view recommendations for the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon Relational Database Service, Amazon Elasticash, Amazon Redshift, and Amazon OpenSearch Service. If you want a more detailed look into ORI utilization and coverage reports, view our AWS Knowledge Center video titled, How do I view my reserved instance utilization and coverage? To view savings plans recommendations and estimated savings under savings plan, Choose Recommendations in the Navigation pane. Use the recommendation parameters to choose a savings plan type. Then select Recommendation options based on your preferred term length, payment option, and past usage. Note the Recommendations table provides monthly on-demand spend, estimated monthly spend, estimated monthly savings, and recommended savings plans. It might take up to 24 hours after a savings plan purchase for the savings plan recommendations to update. To view purchased savings plans and when they expire, select Inventory under Savings Plan in the Navigation pane. To view your savings plan's utilization, choose Utilization Report located under Savings Plans in the Navigation pane. The Utilization Report shows the percentage of your savings plan's commitments that you are utilizing across your applicable usage. To view your savings plan's coverage, choose Coverage Report, located under Savings Plans in the Navigation pane. The Coverage Report shows how much of your applicable usage was covered by savings plans. And now you know how to use AWS Cost Explorer to analyze your spending and usage. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.